In this series, I address your questions about self-harm. It's a tricky topic, but I want us to talk more about it. If I haven't answered your question yet, leave it in a comment below and I will attempt to address it in a future video. Today, I'm going to answer a question that Sam posed on Instagram. Now, Sam was asking about the terms deliberate and intentional in terms of self-harm. He said he'd seen these terms come up and was it appropriate to use them and oof, aren't they a bit judgmental? So basically, deliberate self-harm used to be the way in which health professionals referred to self-harm. It's quite an old-fashioned way of looking at it and as we've learned more about self-harm, we've tried to get rid of the word deliberate because because actually we've begun to realize that the motivations are really, really complex. And the word deliberate in front of self-harm was quite kind of blaming and shaming and really unhelpful. It set you off on a really inappropriate relationship when you actually want to be able to stop and listen unjudgmentally to a young person about their experience so you could understand why are they self-harming, what needs is this meeting and what might we be able to do to support. So every now and then you'll see it creep in, people who've been working in the field a long time or who are reading slightly out of date literature, you might see that term deliberate self-harm. If you see it, challenge it. It's old fashioned terminology, we don't use it anymore. We just use self-harm, not deliberate self-harm.